Finding trading products is probably the fastest way to help you earn a sale online with Etsy. But if you are following trends that's been around for a long time, it's tough to actually get ahead of the trend and be one of the few products to list those items first. So in today's video, there's actually a unique way to use Everbee to find trends before they actually become a mainstream trend on Etsy. And I wanna teach you exactly how to do this so you can start selling these products yourself on Etsy. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here. My name is Jay, and on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. And the main tool that we're gonna to use today to help us do our product research is Everbee. Everbee is a great tool to use if you have a hard time finding trending products or best-selling products to recreate in your own unique way. Everbee gives you behind the scenes data in regards to how many sales a product has, how many views and favorites a specific listing has received. And you can go even further to identify what type of tags you're using on their listing and understand why they're using that based upon the search volume of each phrase. So if you wanna check out Everbee on your own, they were so kind of give my audience a discount code so you can try this out and follow along with me to see if this is best for your print on demand and business. I'll make sure I leave all the details down in my description box below. So with that being said, let's jump into my computer and I'll share with you how to find these new and upcoming trends on Etsy. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is jump over to Etsy. And when you go to the search bar, I like to search broad because I wanna see what is doing well over a large category like t-shirts in our case. And so I want to search up a specific person, a profession, an occasion, season or hobby in our case today we're just going to really make this easy for us to see what designs are doing well so we're going to search up a mom shirt and as i search up a mom shirt this is actually getting you know millions of results here but as he has changed the results being visible here where it says a thousand plus now we know you know there's more than you know a thousand mom shirts showing up that's not a concern for me because i definitely want to go in this large space that is getting you know, tons of listings and see which ones are actually doing well and which ones are actually trending there. I'm going to find a great design to create, but also keywords that can drive traffic as well. So with that being said, I want to head over to the products analytics tool here. And what this would do is that everybody would take all of these listings into account, but show me specific data that will help me make my best decision in regards to what products to sell. So from here, I see a couple of things. I see the listing photo. I see the product name itself, the shop name, price, monthly sales, monthly revenue and total sales. Now, usually when people come to the screen, they just stay on these couple of metrics here. But I like to scoot over a little bit further because there's two metrics I want to look at to help me determine a top trend as well as find amazing keywords to drive my traffic to my product. And the first one is this, I want to look at the listing age. Now, the reason why I want to look at the listing age because I definitely want to target a listing that has been around for at least 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, that's one month, two months or three months. I don't wanna target anything like this one here that's been around for 32 months. The reason for that is it has already been on the Etsy platform for a while to gain a lot of traffic based upon the purchases and the level of reviews. But I wanna catch the trend early and see what was listed in the last three months, two months, one month to see what is actually doing well with shoppers and how they purchase items. I wanna go a step further here and look at the level of favorites. The reason why the favorites are so important when I do this type of research is because sometimes Etsy does not show the amount of sales a particular item has for search platforms like Everbee. Sometimes the reviews are not even being visible on the Etsy platform itself because it's taking time to catch up with the sales. But what is immediately visible is the amount of favorites. And what I have learned throughout my time selling is that if a listing has high favorites, then most likely the sales will follow. And so I want to look at listing age and the level of favorites. Now I can go a step further and do one even better by looking at the shop age. So that lets me know, number one, if the listing is fairly new, if it's getting a lot of favorites, then most likely that's getting a lot of sales. But if that listing is also visible in a shop that's been around, let's say for 10 months or 12 months, then I know not only is this listing doing well, but the shop is doing well being on the platform so early. And so if they're gaining sales as a brand new shop, 
I know I can gain sales as well. So being that we're understanding what metrics we're looking at, let's go in here and filter these results from highest to lowest in regards to listing age to see what is actually listing well and what new products we can create or redesign in our shop to gain these same type of sales. So from here, I like to go to listing age and just click on this little button here and I can see the most earliest listing in regards to what has been selling well on Etsy. Now, of course, when we do any type of product research and keyword research, we definitely want to stay clear of anything that is trademark. Now, what I like to do when I am actually doing trend research, just to make sure I'm clear of any trademarks, is keep up the website USPTO and do trademark research as I'm doing my keyword research so I can make sure that whatever I am designing is actually something I can sell and I won't be in any violation. So with that being said, there's a couple of ones I already see here that we might need to skip over, such as the Bluey family shirt. Of course, it's tied to things like Disney. Going over here, looking at certain words, certain phrases might even be trademark as well. We can search up mom, bod, and see if that is a trademark term. But the point here is that as you do your research, you definitely want to be mindful of utilizing the USPTO website to make sure anything is trademarked could be something you stay clear of so you can actually list products that can gain you sales. So with that being said, I like to look at listing age. And as you can see here, all of these listings here show one month old, one month old. And again, that could be three days old. It could be 28 days old, but it all falls within the one month. Then we see two months here, all the way up to three months. I want to stay clear again of anything that is, you know, 12 months or 34 months. I want to stay clear of those things because I want to try and hit the target early in regards to what trends are doing well here in the last three months. So when I look at this, I also look at favorites and see what is the favorite count here. So of course we're going to skip the first one because that's the trademark obviously. But if I go down here and see this checker mama shirt, this one here was released one month ago or again within the last month, but already it has received 106 favorites. Now the reason why this is important because as we're going to see here, even though it doesn't have any reviews, it does have a large view count, which means people are coming to this listing and there's something about this product that people enjoy, which is the reason why we have favorites. But again, this also has sales. And the reason why we know this, because typically when the item has favorites, it also has sales. So when I scoot over a little bit here with the ever be pool, I see this listing has received a total of 15 sales here, but I want to go here and actually see if this is a best selling item. I see it has received four sales in the last month here, but again, the sales are catching up to the ever be software. So I definitely want to confirm this when I go over into Etsy. And when I click on this here, we can see this item has 20 plus views in the last 24 hours. I believe this product is fairly new in regards to being listed on Etsy because yes, it has received 20 plus views. Again, we can go back to the Everbee tool and see how many views this product has received on an average. And it says here almost 2000 views as well. So with that being said, this is an item I would target because it fits my metrics in regards to trending items that are selling well even though I may not see a best sellers badge, even though I may not see high sales volume with the data on Everbee, I know based upon the favorites in the views with this listing being so early on the platform, this item could be a top trend I need to target now. This also could be done with different professions. One of the main professions I like to target is a teacher shirt. And again, notice how we're searching up very broad, right? We're not putting first grade teacher or sixth grade teacher. We're just making this search extremely broad because we want as many listings as possible to be filtered through our metrics, to see what products to create. So again, I go back into products analytics. I move over to the metrics that matter to me, which is the listing age favorites, again, views and shop age. I want to filter this from highest to lowest in regards to listing age here. And as you can see here is focusing on the top season, which is happening right now, which is Valentine's Day. But this is a great example of what I mean by that targeting a specific person or profession and merging that over into a season is a great way to make sales. And this is being done here. Again, we see that this listing here is one month old, but it has received over 500 favorites in the last 30 days, has received a couple of reviews as well, as well as views. I can scoot all the way over here into the Everbee metrics here and see this product has sold 214 times in the lifetime of the listing, which is only 30 days. I can go here and confirm the listing in Etsy itself. 
and I will see these indicators in regards to a best sellers badge and 20 plus people in the cart. Okay, this is the process I would do to find top trends for me to start selling as well on Etsy. And just give one more example to this, we can go into another product here. Again, this product has been around for a month. 441 favorites and again this is what i mean by large favorite count will also tie into large sales count here i can go over to see the level of sales the 166 sales i can go here and confirm that data in regards to etsy and see this is a best-selling product and 20 plus people viewed this in the last 24 hours so again if we follow our metrics that early listings with large amounts of favorites can actually show us products that receive large amount of sales now as we're here we not only want to identify products that are doing well but we actually want to use the everby tool to see different type of keywords they're using to actually bring in traffic to their product now two main areas i look at to help me see what keywords to use for my listing is the first line of the listing and the title itself but everybody goes a step further and give you detail in regards to what tags are being used in their listing so if i scroll down to the bottom here i can see all 13 tags this listing is using to help drive traffic now one of the things i like about everybody is that they show me the keywords they're using but it's also showing me the search volume these keywords hold and notice here nothing here that's in their tags have a zero search volume everything on here is gaining some type of search volume to help this product be visible even more and so when i do this like i just showed you here with multiple listings that are early in the listing age receive a ton of favorites and actually gaining some sales i like to open these things up to see what are they using to gain traffic to their product? And once you do this over just not two products, but sometimes 10 products and actually determine what keywords are being used, you then will be able to find some great products to sell and get those products visible based upon the keywords that are actually being used on best-selling products. Now, if you want to learn how to start and scale your own Etsy Pro On Demand business, I have created a free Etsy Pro On Demand beginners course where I teach you exactly how to start your own business today and list your first product on Etsy. So if you wanna check out that free guide and that free course, check out my link down in my description box below. Now on this channel, I talk about all type of tips and strategies. And if you want to learn how to create products like this in today's video, then click here. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online, then subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.